Hello guys, welcome to multiplying matrices. Okay, so here we're going to be given two matrices and we're going to be asked to multiply them. Now, the first thing to look at in, whenever you're doing this, again, just like addition and subtraction, are the uh, dimensions. So let's say mm, we have something like this. We've got four, negative one, two, five, negative two, four times, whoops, oh, I, I wanted to draw a box. Let's just not draw a line over there. So we got five, one, three, two, one, five, and negative four, negative two. Now, Whenever we were doing addition and subtraction, we had to make sure that the two matrices had the same dimensions. Well, whenever you're doing multiplication, it works a little bit differently. Now, the dimensions of this matrix are three by two. And this matrix is a two by four. The trick when you're multiplying is you have to make sure that the uh, columns of the first matrix match up with the rows of the second matrix. In other words, these two numbers are the same. If they are the same, you can multiply it. Okay? So, since these two numbers are the same, our product is going to be a 3 by four. Okay? So, trick, make sure these middle two numbers are the same. Okay, let's say we've got something like this. We've got matrix, matrix A, okay? And it is a four by six matrix and we're multiplying it by matrix B. And it is a six by two matrix. Well, since these middle two numbers are the same, we can, in fact, multiply these two numbers together, or these two matrices together. And our product is going to be AB, because it's matrix A times matrix B, and its dimensions are going to be a four by two. It will really help if you know what your product's dimensions are before you actually start multiplying the two matrices. We'll get to actually multiplying them here in just a second. Now, let's say, let's do another example. Let's say we've got matrix A and it's a three by two and I'm multiplying it by matrix B again. And matrix B is also a three by two, okay? So, number of rows, they have to match the number of columns. They don't. So this matrix does not exist. Okay? Now, let's get into actually multiplying. Let's say, again, we've got a matrix and it's got, um, let's make it a 2 by 2. And so it's got, I'm going to have variables in here instead of numbers. Let's say E, F, uh, G and H, okay? Now, our product matrix, since this is a two by two, and this matrix is a two by two, then our product is also going to be a two by two, okay? Now, the trick here is knowing what goes here, here, here and here are four spots, okay? Now in addition, it was easy because the spot here was just this plus this, spot here was just this and this, this and this, so on and so forth. Well, multiplication is a little bit more complicated. What goes here? This is the first row, first column. So you take the first row and you multiply it by the first column, okay? And you add up those products. So you would take A times E, and you would add it to B times G. 
Okay, corresponding first, first, second, second. Okay, first row, first column for the first row, first column spot. So right here would be A, E, plus B, G. I'm gonna write in a room on this matrix. Now here, this is the first row, second column. So you would take the first row, and you multiply it by the second column. So here would be A, F, I have to come up here, A, F, plus B, H, okay? This is the second row, first column. So you take the second row, and you multiply it by the first column. So this is C, E, plus D, G. This spot. This is the second row, second column. So take the second row, multiply it by the second column. So this is C, F, plus D, H. Okay? So make more sense when we throw some numbers in there. So, let's do that. Say I've got this matrix, and it is 6, negative 10, and uh, negative 3, negative 2. And I'm multiplying it by another square matrix, which is negative 5, 3, and negative 4, 3. Okay? So again, two squ square matrices. So 2 by 2 and another 2 by 2. So our product is also going to be a 2 by 2. Now, our product matrix, give myself a little bit more room. So the first row, first column spot, right here. First row, first column. So this will be six times negative five plus negative three times three. Still running out of room. Over here, this is the first row, second column. So first row, second column. So this would be six times negative four plus negative three times three. Moving on to the second row, first column. So we would have negative 10 times negative five plus negative two times three. Second row, second column. Second row, second column. So negative 10 times negative four plus negative two times negative three. Or some, excuse me, times positive three. Then from here, you just simplify it down and you do the arithmetic. So six times negative five, that gives me negative 30. Plus negative nine gives me negative 39. Six times negative four, negative 24, plus negative nine again. So we got negative 35. Over here we've got positive 50 plus negative six. So there's 44. And over here we've got positive 40 plus negative six, so this will give me 34. And that's our answer. So that touches on multiplying and uh, multiplying matrices with your ma two matrices being square. The next video will cover when your two matrices have different dimensions other than being square.